Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again, guys, for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, my people. We really appreciate you. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. Primate Ayodele, uh, we know him very well, the leader and the founder of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church. He has been making prophecies regarding happenings in the country, current happenings, um, regarding politics, politicians, President Mohammed Buhari's administration as well. Even as we stepped into the new year, we know he made series of prophecies regarding different um, politicians. Right now, uh, it looks like Primate Ayodele's prophecy concerning Bola Tinubu is showing signs of becoming true as um, a report just broke out today um, concerning Bola Tinubu if we recall among the prophecies that Prime Minister Odele gave um, the one he stated regarding Tinubu that Tinubu should not just dare to go and contest for 2023 presidency that he will be so embarrassed that he should not even uh, uh, follow those who are deceiving him or leading him on that at the end of the day he's going to be disgraced and also Nigerians will not vote for him that Tinubu can never be the president of this country we know Tunubu very well is the one who is eyeing 2023. Um, he's been making a lot of underground moves, although he has not come out uh, openly to declare his intention. But everyone knows that um, all of his permutations and calculations, strategies, they are all geared towards 2023. He has been making a lot of remarks regarding what is going on in the APC and even um, regarding the um, new leadership of the All Progressive Congress, the Ketika Committee. There was a time he lamented bitterly that what is going on, that um, he's not been carried along, he's been sidelined, um, he is part of the founding father of the party. And you know all of that that has been going on and you know also speculations uh, around that um, Everything that happened in the party, the party structure, the change, and uh, even the sack of Adam Soshomole that they were all targeted at Bola Tinubu. So Tinubu is someone who is very interested in 2023. And at different occasions, Tinubu has made passes, made comments, um, reminding President Mohamed Buhari of how he supported him during his campaigning um, activities in 2015. We also recall that uh, um, a gentleman's agreement has been brought into the open that President Mohamed Buhari promised Tinubu that was an agreement just between the two of them that um, he's going to hand over to him. But the way everything is looking right now, it's not looking like um, President Mohamed Buhari wants uh, to, to um, hand over to Tinubu. We know um, uh, other politicians have seen the signs, they, they, they can read the handwriting of the wall, and they've stated that Buhari will never... Even one governor, Lamidu, former governor Lamidu, uh, um, stated it that never, Buhari will never support Tinubu. And this is what Prime Minister Odele stated that uh, Bola Tinubu does not have any future in 2023. There is no place for him as president. Right now, a shocking report EFCC have opened a file on Bola Tinubu. And where is this going to land Tinubu? Where will he end? Seeing that um, 2023 is not long to go. We'll get you all of the details shortly, guys. But before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. As far as Nigeria is concerned, there is a name referred to as political prophet, and that is Primate Ayodele, who has never shied away from prophesying events in Nigeria and the world at large. His controversial nature has earned him a UN ambassadorship role, taxed with praying for the world and giving out instructions and corrections in case they are about to take the wrong step. Recall that on the 22nd of December 2020, when he released a set of prophecies about 2021, Bola Tinubu's presidential ambition was part of his prophecy. According to the man of God, Bola Tinubu is not wanted in the position within his carcass, and he's also stressed how the president himself will abandon him when the time comes. If there is one thing about prophecy, it has a remedy. But due to many fake men of God out there, we do not know whom to believe. However, Primate Ayodele is a man of integrity who has no relationship with the government except you seek him. One would expect that being a Yoruba man, he should support Tinubu. However, he has said otherwise, and in his words, Tinubu will be granted when the time comes. 
And he even advises him to forget the ambition because God has not ordained him to rule. With the recent development from EFCC about to probe into his wealth, we may be in for a twist of events as time unfolds. We all know that politicians are not clean when it comes to Nigerians' resource management. And when the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission invites you, they are already having something waiting for you. Perhaps there is already something intriguing waiting to be unveiled and with the bullion van scandal still fresh. We all know how it will go. More than 50 sands will be employed and in the midst of everything, the case will prolong for a long time and everything will end. By then, the goal will be achieved. The presidential ambition will end and everyone will move forward. Politics is an opportunity and perhaps might not end that way. Very interesting. Primate Adele's prophecy is all looking like um, it's coming to pass. You know, EFCC just uh, um, woke up with a, we woke up to that news today that EFCC has opened Bolatinobu's corruption file. We know EFCC has got a new chairman right now, um, the person of uh, Bawa, who was recently appointed by President Mohamed Buhari, a young, vibrant man. We know prior to this time it was um, Magu. Um, Ibrahim Magu, but he's been removed. And um, it's been said that uh, Bola Tinubu has got some enemies <laughs> within uh, Buhari's cabinet. But it's not about having enemies. To me, if your hands are dirty, if you've looted, if you've looted uh, uh, um, wealth, if you've looted funds from Lagos State, from Nigeria as a whole, then you need to answer for it. You need to return them. You know, even the bullion van, um, that issue has been swept under um, the carpet for ages now, for years. And Tinubu has um, not really answered. You know, anytime that um, that um, bullion van case comes out, he keeps saying that that money is his and he can decide to use it however he wants. There was one time he was asked that, um, why was there a bullion van in your house um, uh, at night, just on the eve of the presidential election? His response was that it's his personal money and he can decide to do whatever he likes to do with it. Anyway, we'll see how all of this plays out. Uh, uh, Primate Adelia has stated that um, before 2023, Bola Tinubu will be grounded. This EFCC case, it looks like um, it's something that is going to put Bola Tinubu down. And if that is eventually going to be the case, that means uh, other prophecies that he has made might uh, be well um, on their way to coming to pass. You know, a lot of persons have stated that um, um, this man of God, he only just analyzes, he's just... Um, they are just mere predictions of what will happen. So I don't know if that is the case right now, but let's hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Until I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.